pretty much uh, doing a very amateur documentary style video of Little Shenango and growing up fishing and exploring and enjoying this waterway. Um, doing a little fishing today, not much. More so just exploring, see what I find. Found a tire and some garbage. Found something else pretty cool though, just kind of washed up. Come check this out. This is my happy place. Bring my kids out here. Used to swim out here in the summertime. So I found this earlier. This old bottle. Or vase. Or something here. It was just washed up. Everything changes every year down here. The water gets high and moves stuff around. And the water changes course. It's just... I don't know. I guess I get a little emotional sometimes out here. Uh, I don't know. Back to the video, huh? Found these minnows here in this stream. Let's see if you can see them all going away. I used to sane those as a kid for bait, for dad and I, all day. Good times, good times. See if I can get a little closer here. Big old school of minnows there. Abundant resources on this creek for sure. Just got to know where to look. Up there is the old Hadley Scrapyard. Been closed down for a few years. Just kind of working my way back up. Gonna head to another spot. Oh. Always pack it out with you. Even if it ain't yours. This beautiful creek doesn't deserve that kind of trash. Full of life and beauty, we don't need it. So I'm at my next spot on Little Shenango, and this is in Clark's Mills. I also, I grew up, you know, just up the road. I used to ride my bike here and fish with friends and swim. That old bridge has been closed for a couple years, but I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me well because of the, the water, but look here. All these hooks here. I'll show you the other lures I found and garbage coming in. I cleaned up today. B&M ultralights are pretty fun for trout too. Not just crappy. Nice rainbow coming in there. I'm gonna net him and uh, see how big he is. Put him on the tournament. White Stinger.